name is Kweesi Foster, and you are now tuned in to Kweesi on Campus. This is my guest star today, Damian, and we are located here at Kosigaman Community College, located in Worcester, Massachusetts. We are now here in the Fab Lab, that brand new Quest Center, which recently opened up in January 2016. Damian, how are you doing today? I'm well, thanks. Thank you for having us. So um, today in the Fab Lab, they have a bunch of technology and uh, 3D printers, which look really awesome. We got some B-roll footage that you guys will see later on today. I actually wanted a uh, 3D printer myself, but I can't afford one. Uh, Damien, on, typically on an average week, how many hours do you spend here today? So in here right now, I'm probably spending 15, 20 hours a week. Okay. Um, so the students' uh, interaction, do they love it? Are they stressed about STEM technology in the Fab Lab, or are they excited? The, the students are wildly excited to be here. So this is something that we've needed here for a long time. And this batch of students feel like they're l the lucky ones to, to be the ones kicking the tires on the lab. That's great. And I got a fun fact for you guys. Quisigamon Community College is the first uh, Massachusetts community college accepted into the Fab Lab network. There are 500 Fab Labs in 30 countries around the world. And another fun fact, it's the only Fab Lab located out of the great, outside of the greater Boston area. And so uh, can you explain some of the software, Damien, that the students use to create some of the things using 3D printers and uh, laser cutting? So we have a number of software programs here. Um, we do 2D design software. We use AutoCAD. We use Inkscape. We have a whole range of 2D design. For 3D design, we mostly use a program called SolidWorks. OK. And so how did you get involved into uh, you know, STEM technology? And so I worked in high tech for about 20 years, but always um, wanted to, to teach. Mm -hmm. And this opportunity came up at Quinn Sigamund, and I was excited to to get the opportunity to come teach here. This is a beautiful lab. Um, my eyes lit up when I walked in. I was actually excited because you know I wanted to have access and experience something like this. And I think it's great that you guys, like you said, now have access to deliver to students and people interested with uh, innovative and entrepreneurial ideas. Um, can you tell me what's the most creative thing you've seen printed or made here yet? So we've done a number of things. Um, one um, good example is our college mascot is a dragon called the wyvern. So we have a model for the wyvern, and we've printed a bunch of those on the 3D printer and handed them out to uh, students, faculty, the president, gives them as gifts to people who come visit. So that's one of the coolest things we've done. That's cool stuff. So uh, with uh, you know, STEM technology and 3D printing in this lab that we have here today, uh, 20 years from now, what do you see you know, STEM technology in this fab lab's future steering, future students? Well, I think, I hope we're on the cutting edge here, and I think we, we plan to stay on the cutting edge here. So, you know, we will move with the technology. Um, and I know you can, uh, you know, coordinate with people in different countries and, and uh, work and uh, collaborate on building ideas. Um, can you speak more so to that, how the students interact with other companies and people? One of the coolest things about the Fab Lab Network is when a student here has an idea for a project, somebody has probably done something similar mm -hmm. or done some of the groundwork for that project. So we can go to the Fab Lab Network and we can leverage some work that's already been done, which gets us to our final product faster than we otherwise would be able to. So it's a tremendous network of, of people and resources around the world. So for most of the students who use the Fab Lab, um, what are the, like, the majors or the programs that they come from, the backgrounds of the students? So right now we're just starting up, and, and, and right now we just have manufacturing students okay. in here. But the idea is that we will bring in students from all disciplines across the college who will be able to come in here with a product idea and turn that into an actual product. So, um, you know, I'm just throwing this out there. So for, you know, students who, you know, use, utilize the Fab Lab and uh, have interest in 3D printing and laser technology, uh, for, you know, future workforce, uh, where's the, you know, the workforce that feel that they might be able to go into after college, uh, you know, being involved in some of these um, opportunities here that they can t take in? So specifically for us, for our manufacturing students, your know, manufacturing has been and is making a major comeback in Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the jobs that went overseas over the last 20 or 30 years, we feel like they're coming back. We talk to employers who, you know, can't find qualified technicians. So we're trying to solve that problem. And a lab like this goes a long way towards helping us fill that, fill that gap. So with the, um, filling that gap, so do you also, um, what would you say the Fab Lab substitutes for as far as resources and uh, things being made today? Is there like a, you know, you had a 3D printer that prints things uh, probably using plastic. So would you, can you give me an idea of some things and materials that we use in everyday life that the 3D printers and the stuff and the equi equipment in this lab can substitute? So 
um, 3D printer prints plastic materials. Um, 3D printing is often used as a prototype. So regardless of what material your final product is going to be made in, you can run, make a 3D print, which is a quick way to get you to a prototype of your product that you can measure and make sure are the right dimensions. And then you can make it out of the, the final material. So um, if you had one thing that you, that you wanted to make before the semester's over, what would you make in this Fab Lab? So one of the things we, we want to do here is make some printed circuit boards, which are actual electronic boards that, okay. that work. And that is something that's done in the Fab Lab. We have some ideas about how we can make that process better. So that's one of the key things that we're working with students on now. Uh, and so, you know, I know there's a lot of initiatives, uh, you know, pushing towards, uh, you know, the future of STEM technology. And so what would you say to, you know, the students and uh, the local children watching uh, on the Western Television Network uh, to encourage them to, you know, stare up and take up STEM technology in future education? So the first thing I would say is come in and see us. And, and we will be setting up time for the wider community to come okay. in and see us. Come in and see us, see the cool equipment we've got here. Kids can come in and make stuff. Um, and I would also say, you know, students who, who want to come to QCC are very lucky because they would be coming here at an awesome time because we have these new labs now that, that we didn't have before. So yeah. QCC is a lot better now than it was five years ago. I can tell you, I was surprised when, you know, when I came up here excited. I seen a new building. Uh, this is a state-of-the-art technology. Um, most schools do not have this, and you're very fortunate. And I would say go Consigamon Community College, and I uh, thank you for having me, Damien. It's a pleasure. You're welcome. Appreciate it.